<laughs> so you got Penny the horse and five awfully dogs. <laughs> Go see him, Pen. <laughs> this is funny. Come on. Yep. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! You're very good. You're very good. You're very good. Yeah, I think this is your first feature on the YouTube channel, isn't it? She's so good. <laughs> Come on, Pen. Nala, Lil, Lily, Lily. Enjoying herself, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A spotty herd. <laughs> no. Yeah. And she really she's getting quite humanised. I think this is your sign that you need a spotty dog for her friend. <laughs> I know you'd be pinching mine. <laughs> yeah. So you can make your one turn well done. You should be. Have you ever done any of my knees? Some kick and roll in a puddle, don't they? But they might clean her a bit. They might clean her a bit. Yeah. And see this one for me. We're there the bear stuff. Oh. And the stuff. Oh. That's good then. I think I can repair my ring. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going, Mike? <laughs> Go on and go join the dogs. <laughs> That's so much easier. <laughs> no, it won't be. It won't be bikes on a weekday this time. In the summer, late afternoon, evenings, when people are done with walking, I oh, with working. Sorry. You're not breathing quite as hard today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Wants to play a bit. And... Well, she was in for two days solid. Ah, uh, yeah, with all the snow and ice. Yeah, I took her out. Yeah. 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 For two days she weren't. And I could see in her being which she weren't right. Yeah. There's too much in her bed. She is only young, see, isn't she? She had a friend. They would be after her. There's well, somebody to play with. and I talked to her over the stall. Well, that's why she's laughing with dogs. <laughs> but what you find is like young horses need other young horses because they've got the same energy level, same desire to play. Yeah. Well, they're not dissimilar in age, are they? Woo! <laughs> she didn't expect that then. Thank you. That's good to investigate it, though. It's like it's frightening, but I want to see what it is. Come on, dog. Oh, yeah. The Dalmatian is a breed of dog, which has a white coat marked with black or brown colored spots. Originating as a hunting dog, it was also used as a carriage dog in its early days. The origins of this breed can be traced back to present day Croatia and its historical region of Dalmatia. It is thought that early ancestors of the breed were certain breeds of pointers and a spotted Great Dane. Today, it is a popular pet and many enthusiasts enter Dalmatians into kennel club competitions. 
The Dalmatian is a sleek and medium-sized short-haired dog that is affectionate, very athletic, highly intelligent, and energetic. This breed is extremely driven, loyal, and well-suited for work or companionship. The Dalmatian is known for its distinct spots, slim carriage, and tail arched upward. It also has a rich history as a firehouse dog and, of course, its acclaim from the Disney cartoon movie. Dalmatians can make excellent companions for the right household. It is most important that everyone in the home understands the Dalmatians' need for activity and training, so active households are ideal. This is an affectionate dog breed that bonds closely with its human companions and can make a lovely playmate for the active individual or family. The Dalmatians' true origins are up for debate, but evidence of similar types of dogs goes back to ancient times. It is likely that the breed did not actually originate in Dalmatia, present-day Croatia, but it is certain that Dalmatians were once used as sentinels in the area. They appear in artwork from the early 1600s. The Dalmatian is known for its affinity with horses, which made it the original and prized carriage dog or coach dog in England. They would run alongside carriages to serve as protectors and status symbols. Then they also guarded the stables at night. The breed has also served as a dog of war, guard dog, retriever, ratter, and shepherd. The first Dalmatian club was established in England in 1890. The breed was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1888. The Dalmatian arrived in the U.S. around the turn of the 20th century and one worked closely with teams of firefighters, starting from the era when horses were still used to pull fire engines. The dogs would run ahead of the horses to clear the paths of people and other animals so the engines could quickly get to the scene of the fire. The breed is often still seen as a firehouse mascot. The company Anheuser-Busch also includes a Dalmatian on breeding farms and in television ads where its teams of Clydesdale horses are featured. Dalmatians were made extremely popular by Disney's 101 Dalmatians films and programs. This had an unfortunate side effect of irresponsible breeding and inappropriate adoption. As many people could not handle a high-energy Dalmatian, many were abandoned, and rescue organizations were developed. The fad faded and AKC registrations dropped 90% in the 10-year period after 2000. Dalmatian Care Dalmatians are very agile, athletic, and versatile. To keep this dog in good shape, physical and mental, Dalmatians need tons of exercise and plenty of activities. Otherwise, they are prone to weight gain, anxiety, and even behavior problems. This breed may also have a tendency for excessive barking, especially if there is not a proper outlet for the dog's energy. Exercise Be sure you walk a Dalmatian on a leash and have a secure enclosure. When off-leash, they may bolt and be long gone before you can react. This breed needs a minimum of two hours a day of exercise, which includes at least two walks and running time. Grooming The Dalmatian has a smooth white coat with distinct black or brown spots. Puppies are born white without spots, which develop later. This breed requires little more than basic grooming but is a relatively high shedder and sheds year-round. Regular brushing will help minimize shedding. The good news is that their short coat seems to be dirt repellent and will quickly shed any mud or other debris. Be sure to clean the Dalmatian's ears regularly to prevent ear infections. In addition, keep the nails neatly trimmed so your Dalmatian can walk around comfortably and safely. Training The Dalmatian is known for its ready and willing attitude and seemingly endless energy. These dogs are quite smart, despite what some may think. Dalmatians are also considered to have exceptionally long memories, which can be helpful when training. The extreme energy level of the Dalmatian makes the breed appear goofy at times. This is why proper training is essential for this dog. The Dalmatian is typically very clever and eager to learn if you are diligent and can keep its attention. Responsible breeders strive to maintain the highest breed standards as established by kennel clubs like the AKC. Dogs bred by these standards are less likely to inherit health conditions. However, some hereditary health problems can occur in the breed. The following are some conditions to be aware of. Deafness, 
about 10 to 12 percent of Dalmatians are born deaf and 22 to 24 percent have hearing only in one ear. This is an inheritable condition and these dogs should not be bred, but they can lead full and well-adjusted lives. Hip dysplasia, this is an inherited condition that can produce lameness and arthritis. Urinary issues, infections, stones this is more of a problem with Dalmatians than with any other breed as they excrete more uric acid in their urine. They need plenty of water and food that is not high in purines. All purebred Dalmatians will have this tendency and there are breeding projects underway to reintroduce normal genes. Skin allergies, Dalmatians may have food-based allergies, contact allergies, or inhalant allergies. Diet and Nutrition A Dalmatian will need two meals per day for a total of 1.5 to 2 cups of dry food. You may need to get a special dog food that is low in purines to reduce the risk of kidney stones. If you notice your dog is gaining weight, discuss the proper feeding schedule, food amount, type of food, and exercise with your veterinarian. Be sure to provide constant access to water to reduce the risk of stones. It is good to note whether your dog is urinating regularly. Take one glance at his spotted coat and you'll instantly know, that's a Dalmatian. These dogs, affectionately called Dals for short, have a beautiful pattern that catches everyone's eye and striking personalities to match. Sweet, smart, and playful, Dalmatians are all-around dogs, says John Kramer, president of the Heartland Dalmatian Club of Greater Kansas City. They've served many roles over the course of their long existence, including carriage dog, circus dog, and firehouse dog. After building an impressive resume over the centuries, most Dalmatians are happy fulfilling today's most popular gig, family dog. These pups are steadfastly loyal to their humans and thrive in active households that keep their muscular bodies moving, their sharp minds engaged, and their frequently shedding fur vacuumed up. Dals are one of the most instantly recognizable dog breeds, thanks to their short white coat that's covered in spots. While black and white is the most common color combination, liver Dalmatians can occur due to recessive genes inherited from the pup's parents. Rarely, you can find blue, brindle, and lemon Dalmatians with orange spots. Even rarer is a tricolor Dalmatian, which has black and tan spots. Sometimes you can find long-haired Dalmatians, commonly called long-coat Dalmatians or LCS, this length is a rare trait also caused by recessive genes. Though their coat is what makes them stand apart from the crowd, Dalmatian puppies are born sans spots. Their distinctive pattern, which is unique to every Dal no two are exactly alike, starts showing up when they're around two weeks old. Underneath those spots is a lean, muscular build. Dalmatians are on the larger end of medium-sized dog breeds, standing 19-24 inches and weighing 45-70 pounds when fully grown. Dals are highly intelligent and hard workers, but they can tend to be timid when confronted with anything new. Working with them early in life to expose them to lots of different situations can help considerably with their shyness, says Sarah Moore, DVM, Diplomate Akvim, Neurology. You will want to socialize them to all the different environments you will want them to be able to navigate calmly and comfortably later in life. But once you get past that shy shell, Dals are total goofballs and have a silly sense of humor. They're remarkably loyal to their humans, and if you're diligent about exposing them to new people, new animals, and new situations in puppyhood, Dalmatians can do a complete 180 and become quite outgoing pups. Some Dals can be great therapy dogs as well. Dalmatians are good family dogs and can get along well with children and other furry friends including cats and other dogs, if well socialized. Again, socializing your Dalmatian puppy is key to helping him coexist with others. Because they can be nervous and wary of things they are not used to, introducing them to children as puppies is the surest way to make sure they will grow to become appropriate family dogs, Moore says. Similar to children, they can get along great with other pets, but may be nervous or stressed and anxious around them if they are not introduced until adulthood. Dalmatians thrive when they have a fenced-in yard to run around in. If they're cooped up indoors for too long, they can be prone to zoomies and might chew up some pillows. They'll be happiest with an active owner if you're training for a marathon, 
Adal is a great running partner. They could live in an apartment if taken for regular runs, brisk walks, or with daily games of frisbee in the park. Once their energy is spent, Dals will love spending the evening with some indoor playtime or just being close to their human. They'll attach to you, Kramer says. If I'm sitting on the couch, they'll sit right next to me, sometimes put their head in my lap, sometimes just curl up at the end of the couch. Because of their sensitive nature and how easily they can become bored, Dalmatians shouldn't be left alone for long periods of time, according to the Dalmatian Club of America. When you do leave your Dal alone which should never be for more than a few hours at a time make sure he has plenty of toys to keep him happy. Because of their short coats, Dalmatians can do well in warmer climates, though you should never leave any dog outside in the heat. As a general rule, if you're hot, he's hot, and should come inside. When taking your Dal for a winter walk, you might want to bundle him up in a coat or sweater. A common misconception is that because a Dalmatian's fur is so short, it's easy to manage. But that spotted coat sheds a lot. Their coats are surprisingly dense and fur flies off year-round, covering your carpet, your furniture, and you in little prickly hairs. To curtail this, and to save serious money on lint rollers and vacuum bags, Kramer says you should brush your dal at least once a week, preferably outside. The DCA recommends a bristle brush, rubber curry comb, or horsehair mitt. And, as with all breeds, incorporate regular nail trims and teeth brushing into your care routine. Because of his history as a working dog, your Dalmatian will often greet you in the morning with a look that says, What are we doing today? He needs to keep his mind active and paws moving and would love to join you on long hikes, jogs, or bike rides. Dals are always down for a game of fetch, and regular play and daily walkies will keep him happy in between longer adventures. He also excels in dog sports including agility, rally, barn hunt, lure coursing, dock diving, and road trials with horses. If he doesn't get enough exercise, this typically quiet breed can become noisy and get into trouble as he tries to keep himself entertained. They want to go out and run and be active, so you'll want to do some kind of activity with them, Kramer says. Don't think they're going to be a lap dog, but they can be a lot of fun. Dalmatians wear their heart on their sleeves and take harsh words to heart. It's important to use positive reinforcement when training any breed, but especially when working with Dals. Moore says training with treats or clicker training can be particularly effective when it comes to teaching them obedience. Once he's mastered the basics of good behavior, this former circus dog will be ready to learn tricks and quickly. As they're generally healthy dogs, Dalmatian lifespans are typically 11-13 years. But, as with all breeds, they are susceptible to a few health conditions. According to the University's Federation for Animal Welfare, between 15-30% of Dalmatians are deaf in one ear, while five perfect are completely deaf. This is a condition detectable early in life, Moore says, so potential owners can preemptively learn about caring for a deaf dog before bringing home a Dalmatian puppy. Deaf dogs are still perfectly trainable and can be a loving companion for life. However, Kramer who grew up with a deaf Dalmatian says the deaf Dals might not do well in a home with small children, as they can be easily startled and spooked. Along with deafness, Teresa Entrican, DVM, says Dalmatians may be predisposed to conditions such as atopic dermatitis, a skin reaction caused by airborne or ingested allergens that results in excessive licking and scratching, kidney or bladder stones, dilated cardiomyopathy, a serious condition in which the heart cannot effectively pump blood, bacterial folliculitis, an inflammatory skin condition caused by bacteria that can lead to hair loss. Liver inflammation. Laryngeal paralysis and polyneuropathy, the degeneration of nerves in the throat. Protein losing enteropathy, where proteins are lost from the bloodstream into the gastrointestinal tract. This can cause fluid in the dog's abdomen and slash or diarrhea. This doesn't mean that a Dalmatian will experience one or more of these conditions during their lifetime. Entrican says. And like any dog, they may experience another illness, so in general, 
pet parents should keep an eye out for behavior changes or other abnormalities in their pets and seek veterinary evaluation. The Dalmatian is an ancient breed, and therefore his origins aren't as black and white as his fur. According to the DCA, ancient writings, engravings, and paintings have indicated the Dalmatian inhabited ancient Europe, Asia, and Africa. The first true identification comes from Dalmatia hence the name Dalmatian a historical province along the Adriatic Sea. But there's no actual evidence to prove Dalmatia is their homeland. It's hard to know what the breed has more of, spots or jobs. Dalmatians worked as English carriage dogs in the 17th century, running alongside horse-drawn carriages to protect travelers on the road. They also became staples in firehouses, running ahead and alongside fire trucks to clear the street of pedestrians. Other titles held by Dals include hunting dog, shepherd, watchdog, circus dog, and draft dog. Today, Dalmatians are mostly retired family dogs but still keep busy competing in many dog sports. Fun Facts In pop culture, Dalmatians are probably most associated with Disney's 1961 movie 101 Dalmatians, about a family of pups who thwarts evil fashionista Cruella de Vil. There have since been a few remakes and spin-offs, including the 2021 film Cruella starring Emma Stone. Famous Dal owners include singer Paula Abdul, Casablanca star Ingrid Bergman, fashion designer Mark Jacobs, and Back to the Future star Michael J. Fox. In a nod to their carriage dog history, Budweiser continues to use Dals as a mascot for their famous Clydesdales. But instead of running alongside the carriage, these pups have a front row seat next to the driver. If you like this video please like, comment about your thoughts on this, subscribe and click the bell icon for further notifications.